I'm reporting in on June 2nd, 2009, right at noontime from the, the beautiful historic uh, Radisson Blue Alcron Hotel in Prague. With me is... Uh, um, Martina. Martina, <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm getting mixed up with my Czech names right now. <laughs> but you've been taking me around the whole property and it's actually been great looking at all the different places. We've seen the hotel kitchen, we've seen the presidential suite, we've seen the castle view suites. Uh, but this is definitely a historic hotel. Let me give you a quick look here. Built in 1932 in the Art Deco style. And to connect us with the history of the hotel, there's something really special here. Um, there's a book here that's called Hotel Alcron. Pamietni uh, Kniga means, or Knia means, uh, memory book. Can you tell me a little bit about this book, what it means, where it was found, and so forth? Sure. Uh, okay. This okay. is the old VIP book, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, used here in the Alcron Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. And uh, it was lost and found in uh, 1983 in the antique shop. Uh -huh. uh, one man, he just took the work and uh, somehow put together uh, the signatures which were found, some mm -hmm. of them also in the envelope inside. Mm -hmm. uh, the pages were the, the pages were cut it and some signature collector just uh, leave them over there. Mm -hmm. um, we start the book uh, memorized the uh, history of the Alcon Hotel but also the history of the Czechoslovakia because we yes. can really see uh, different signatures and uh, dates the uh, history. Mm -hmm. uh, the book uh, collect the signatures from 1932 when mm -hmm. the Hotel Alcon was opened until the 19 1948, with a little break and during the um, World War Second, um, we start here 15, 1937 year, mm -hmm. where we can already see mainly a German signature. Yeah, this is German leading up to the Second World War. Yes. So lots of German army people coming into Prague. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can see a little bit. Mm -hmm. So these are. This to me looked like a signature of mm. Hans Albers mm. uh, from 1939. I'm not quite sure, but Hans Albers is a very famous German uh, actor from the uh, war period. So I don't know if that's true or not, but who knows, you know? Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, some very, very interesting signature. signatures. And I can't read anything. This no, is sort of the no, old German right. script that was used in there. Uh, then uh, we move, because we are still on the pages which were uh, somehow uh, preserved, mm -hmm. uh, to the year 1948. Mm -hmm. And here we can already see uh, Russian signatures. Mm -hmm. because it was the after war and somehow the Czech uh, Czechoslovakia became part of the yeah. Russian sphere of influence <laughs> with all the communists yeah. so and here. Soviet uh, Power uh, people yeah. coming in here. Who is this here? UN Secretary General in French capital. Mm -hmm. Trigvelli. I think that's his signature in 1950. Yes. 1950. Mm -hmm. Okay. So actually we go to 1950, I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. But then uh, we go back to the fragments, mm -hmm. uh, which are really from the 1932 until the 1930s. Okay, yeah, you can see here 1932. So this is already the work of the man who put the book together. Mm -hmm. and, and we don't know who this man was. I don't know the name of the mm -hmm. man, but uh, this is now actually uh, owned by the book. This book is supposed to be the oldest. Uh, hotel book, a VIP book mm -hmm. uh, in the Czech Republic. Okay. So, and here we start the signature, the fragments, mm -hmm. which were somehow put together chronologically. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some interesting here signatures some interesting here. I see here mm -hmm. Eugen, I think, Prince von Sweden, Eugene, Prince of Sweden. Mm -hmm. I can't read the remaining uh, something of Denmark here. It looks mm -hmm. like Denmark. Charles d'affaires de Den Denmark. Mm -hmm. So many some politicians, politicians uh, ambassadors, prince, mm -hmm. and this type of uh, Maurice Chevalier, mm -hmm. the famous he actor. Really after the opening of the Alpen Hotel. Okay. Because we are opposite to the Lucerna Hall, which is also very famous uh, concert hall. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so many, many of these guests stayed in the Alpen Hotel. Mm -hmm. And other signatures. Yeah. Uh, some. Can maybe I can't some, really some read any of them. Can, uh, 
Mm-hmm. can find out who was it because it's really difficult. Thomas Cook, member of yes, Parliament, yes. London. Very Look good at that. Read Somebody out. from Australia. Mm-hmm. Could be. Mm-hmm. Okay. Father. What else are we seeing here? Charge d'affaires d'Argentina. Okay, so the Argentine, uh, I guess, ambassador or yes, some yes. diplomat. Minist Ministre de France, okay, a French mm -hmm. minister, so some high-powered people really? stayed here in it the 1930s. At this time, really, the hotel was used for, for this type of guests. Okay. Many famous guests stayed here, mm -hmm. and important guests. Exactly, yeah. Very nice. So you also have here also okay. the signature of the U.S. Army General Arthur McDouglas. Arthur McDouglas, okay. I'm not sure if you found him. I don't remember the I don't year. know where it is. It would probably be later after yeah. the 1930s, I would think. So, here is some kind of uh, uh, Chinese. Chinese, <laughs> yes, absolutely. So this is sort of a, a, a living piece of history that sort of reflects obviously the princes and ambassadors and, and actors of the 1930s, mm. the German army officers of the late 1930s uh, around the Second World War, and then from 1948 onwards a lot of the Russian mm -hmm. deputies and, and army personnel that came to Prague. Yeah. Very, very interesting. interesting. Yeah, I see here Ministre du, du Mexique, a mm -hmm. Mexican minister. So truly a very illustrious hotel, the Hotel Alcron in the 1930s. It was, uh, it was a really palace. Mm -hmm. They call it a palace, which was suddenly built in Prague. Yes. And was the almost first luxury hotel in Prague. At the oh, yeah. Era. The people, the guests were actually recommended to stay rather in Vienna mm -hmm. or Carlsbad than in Prague. Uh -huh. But then suddenly uh, Alice Krupta was so clever to build uh, this hotel. Yes. And uh, to open it here because Prague became a very popular destination at exactly. the time. Many uh, firms uh, build their companies here and mm -hmm. so it was uh, also uh, business business city now now, what, now Prague again now is again. on the top of the best seller list in Europe because yeah. I was reading up on it and I think it's the sixth most most popular tourist destination yeah. in all of Europe yeah. after I think London mm -hmm. Paris Madrid Barcelona Rome mm -hmm. and then we have Prague right away so it's a very very popular destination and I'm glad I'm here thank you so much Martina you're welcome